Hi, I'm Emily, and this is No Expert, and today I have a very special guest. It is the wonderful Chef Frank Burke. Happy to be back. Here. I'm so excited. Yeah. I always love filming with you. It's always so much fun. Oh, right back at you. Yeah, it's yeah. always a pleasure. And today we're doing something really I'm... exciting and fun and special um, that I'm very thrilled about. Yeah, and that's, I can't even tell you how uh... excited I am. <laughs> so excited. I, when I had the idea, I was like, we, ha we have to yeah. do this now. Yes. And um, so thank you so much for being yeah. on board. Uh, so we're going to be making food uh, based on the Lord of the Rings. Yep. Uh, we're both, uh, I don't know if you know this, <laughs> massive nerds. Super nerds, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're going to do this one for Lord of the Rings, and we have another episode coming out a little later uh, that's Star Wars themed. Yes. Um, so we're trying out like a nerdy... Sci-fi... Yeah, like a sci-fi yeah. snack situation. Yes, and uh, we're trying to make the food delicious too. Yeah, Not absolutely. just camera friendly, yeah, but yeah. delicious. So on my most recent birthday, I had a Lord of the Rings marathon at my house, and I made a bunch of food to go along with some key moments in the film. Uh, and there were a few recipes that I thought were really great, and I was like, I should share these recipes. I should give them to the people. <laughs> Uh, and then I thought, well, if I'm going to make a video with one of those recipes, yep. I got to have Frank there. Yes. Because I know you're a fan too. I'm a, I'm a huge fan. And, and like, when it comes to movies in general, mm -hmm. I always look at the food. Yeah. Like, I'm always like, it's, so yeah, it's, it's no, it's, I love the stories, but I, um, the food, I'm always interested in the food. So then whenever I see a, a movie or a show that has food involved, I'm always like, oh, that's interesting. Mm, what's that? Can I make that? <laughs> you know? yeah. So today we're going to put it to the test. Yeah, today we're going to try. So I'm going to be making a tart sort of based on the fry up that the hobbits do on Weathertop. Um, and then and... I'm going to step on it like Frodo does with the fire. <laughs> We'll, we'll save one for stomping. And then uh, you're going to be making? Lemba spread. Yes. Yes. Or at least my version of yeah, it. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, because I've done a ton of research on it. And, um, you know, some people have yeasted bread. Some people have this. But I always think back to the scene when Sam, uh, that Frodo tells Sam to leave. Oh, yeah. And, and then he finds the lembus mm -hmm. and he gets really angry and he crumbles it up. And I'm like, that's not a yeasted bread. So, yeah, like, yeah. I'm, I nerded out a little. Yeah. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I got it to a point where I think I'm really happy with it, so I'll, I'll see what you Yeah, think. yeah. We haven't tried each other's recipes yet, so we're going to make them, and then we're going to share them, and then we're going to eat them. Yes. The best part, eating. It'll be a great day. <laughs> so the first thing I need to do to make my tarts is get my uh, tart shells ready. So I have a pie dough already made, and I'm just going to roll this out nice and thin. Turn into tart shells. So these tarts are based on when the hobbits make a, a breakfast fry up on Weathertop. So it's um, in, in the movies, at least, it's bacon, uh, sausage, and tomato. And uh, so that's, that's loosely what's in the tart. The tart has a tomato jam, which I'm going to make, some hot Italian sausage, some pancetta for the bacon. And then I put a little cheese on top just because it's nice. Who could say no? Yeah, even the undead kings uh, can't resist the smell of bacon, you know? <laughs> Everyone thinks it's the ring that brought the, the race to Weathertop, but you know what? It was actually the smell of bacon. Little known fact. Before you uh, line your tart shells or muffin pan with, with pie dough, you need to give it a good spray or else you'll never get those tarts out. So I'm just going to roll out all of my circles of dough to become my tart shells. Circle of dough goes into the tart shell. We'll be attracting wraiths in no time. All right, next up, I have to make my tomato jam. So for this, I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil into a pot. And then I'm going to sweat my red onion. And I'm gonna add just a pinch of salt. Next up, a teaspoon of paprika. All right, and a teaspoon of cumin seeds, cherry tomatoes and some pepper, more salt. I'm just gonna let these sort of cook until they start to release water and cook down. Last but not least, I'll add my brown sugar and about four teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. One, two, three, four. Give that a little stir and cook it for another minute or two and our tomato jam is done. The last step before I can assemble and bake my tarts is to brown some meat. So here's what I have. I have pancetta, which I'm going to brown right now, and hot Italian sausage. So the first thing I'm doing is rendering the fat out of the pancetta, and then I'm gonna pull the pancetta out of the pan, but keep the fat to brown my sausage. Pancetta is out of the pan, it's been rendered. So next I add my Italian sausage, which I've taken out of the casing. 
I'm just gonna take my spoon and break these up. I just need to brown the sausage. It doesn't uh, necessarily need to be like perfectly fully cooked, but I want the flavor of the brown sausage and I want it to let go of a lot of the stuff that'll uh, create juice inside of my tart. Basically the tomato jam, the browning of the meat, everything is about flavor and also getting rid of extra water so that the tarts end up um, not with soggy bottoms. If you end up with a soggy bottom on your tart, then you're probably a fool of a took. All right, the last thing I need to do is simply assemble my tarts and bake them. So what I'm gonna do is take some of my tomato jam and put it in the bottom of each tart, basically create like a bottom layer of tomato. I've been calling it jam. Is it a jam? I don't know. It's in the tomato jam family. And then what I'll do is get a little bit of my pancetta and a little sausage. Make sure everybody gets some. Just filling in a little more tomato jam around these. And then I'm going to top them each with a piece of my aged white cheddar. So this is like a, a really tasty aged cheddar cheese. Uh, I'm a little lactose intolerant, so an older cheese also happens to work better for me, but I also feel like it sort of fits the vibe of like the Shire, you know, a nice old, you know, funky or like aged sort of like that, you know, it's got like that tang, good piece of cheese. The kind of thing you might find in say, um, Saruman's stores um, at, uh, after the, the, the Battle of the Two Towers. Um, I'm just going to fill all of these in and then I'm going to bake them at 375 for 15 to 20 minutes until the cheese is melted and the dough is nice and puffy and cooked. So let's fill them in. This is the kind of tart that would make me say, I'm going to kill that hobbit. <laughs> For my recipe, I'm making lembas. Now, lembas is what the hobbits take with them from, uh, the elves give it to them, and it's a whey bread. It's a bread they can take, it lasts forever, it tastes really good, um, and one little bite can feed a man for uh, many days, right? So it keeps them full. So uh, they're going to a place where it's dark and it's dingy and it's scary, and this is the one bright thing they're gonna have. Uh, and that's basically what I thought of when I uh, worked on this recipe. What's great about this recipe as well, it doesn't take quite the journey that Emily's recipe took. It's a far shorter journey, more to like the town of Bree, not so much to Mordor. Through my research, I found that Peter Jackson actually used some sort of shortbread, but I'm going for something a little different than shortbread. So I'm going with kind of more of a corn style cookie. And I said cookie to be very specific because that's what it looked like to me. Uh, and we don't see a lot of corn in our cookies and I thought that it kind of fit the color. It's gonna fit the texture perfectly. So that's what I'm going with. For my lembas, this is what we're gonna use. I have cornmeal, brown sugar, white sugar, salt, baking soda, eggs, flour, butter, honey, and a little bit of my homemade vanilla. The butter is softened at room temperature. Um, I think they got this butter from Bayorn, right? He, uh, he keeps a whole herd of animals to milk. <laughs> and I got that all over me. <laughs> That's where it comes from. Butter, both sugars go in. And then we just let it roll, right? We want the butter and sugar to combine to make it creamy. When we cream stuff, it just makes it light and airy, add some air to our cookie dough, or lembas dough. So here we go. Butter and sugar is breaking down. I'm gonna add my egg. I always crack into a vessel because I don't want any eggshells in there, right? That goes in. I'm gonna add my honey. Now. I'm gonna wing it with the honey, okay, right? I think that uh, this is a little messy sometimes, so I'm going about two teaspoons. And this is what kind of gives it that ethereal flavor, right? The, the honey gives some nice notes of sweetness. It gives us some nice flowery notes. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of my homemade vanilla. Smells great, it's got a little booze in it. Vanilla and honey together, amazing, right? And then we just whip it again. One thing you do have to do here is scrape your sides down. Butter and sugar likes to stick to the sides of your, of your bowl. So you gotta scrape it down so you get a good mix. Um, so scrape your butter and then go. That's perfect. I wanna get my dry ingredients together 
I always mix my dry ingredients together before they go into the bowl. The main reason for this is that you don't want any clumps of baking soda or salt. Uh, when someone takes a bite of this, you want them to think that they're in the forest hanging out with the elves and not uh, in some salty orcs uh, lair, okay? So whisk this together. This is flour, salt, baking soda, and cornmeal. And then all at once, this goes in. I don't really do this thing with cookies where people put a little in, they let it run. I'm just gonna dump it all in at once and let this form a nice dough. Now that the dough is done, we can scoop it. And I do three nice scoops. So this is Aragorn, this is Legolas, and this is Gimli. Okay, that's what I'm gonna call my three little scoops. And then I take all three of them and I mash them up, get them all together. And then I'm gonna kind of flatten them out and put them on the tray. We don't want a dinky little piece of Lembus. We want a nice big piece. Like think fat elf drinking mead in the wine cellar while you know the elven king is upstairs. He's getting drunk downstairs. I'm thinking a big piece of Lembus with my mead. After we scoop them, I'm gonna put them in a 350 degree oven for about eight to 10 minutes. I wanna get like nice and golden brown on the outside. Just a little soft in the middle. We'll take them out, let them cool. And our journey can begin. Wait, it started already. <laughs> Where do you want to start? You well, want let's to start, start with, with yours because if we eat mine, we won't eat for a week. That's right. It'll, right? It'll make it'll us fill very our stomach. Full. So that is how that works. Uh, we should probably try yeah, the tarts looks first. Hearty. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I always go for. I would love to go for sweets first, but let's try yeah, the yeah. tarts. Yeah, this will just be our second breakfast. Yes, yes, you second know? breakfast or elevensies. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you want to grab one? Which yeah, one looks? Grab. I'm taking this one. Do it. It's got the most cheese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, cheers. Whoa. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. I, 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 I hear like six of these. Yeah, I know. They're good, right? And I, I'd probably take a little nap, smoke on my pipe weed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful day. Mm. Oh, wow. Napkins have appeared from Holy the ether. Goodness. Excellent. Um, I think everything is like just goes so well together. Mm. Oh, my God. Your pie crust? You like that? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that is, um, that is like I do my best. the top. Yeah. I use a cultured butter and mm. uh, usually lard. This one has Crisco instead, but um, so it's a little. Uh, I can only imagine that lard would make it just a lard, little oh, lard is better. So I know, um, but well, I we, think this worked out pretty well. Oh my gosh! Um, I'm, I'm a fan. Thing. I mean, to be honest, I made these in the fall, so I'm biased. I was like, I like this so much, I wanted to make it again, even though I knew it was gonna make my journey as long as Mordor, my recipe as long as the trip to Mordor. <laughs> Um, I gotta do a little ribbon, a little ribbon. Yeah. Well, like I said, I figured you you know you can talk so long that you could take around the same time with a yeah, shorter probably. recipe if you wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> that is mm. a good tart. Thank you. That was yeah. very kind of you. The tomato jam gives you sort mm. of like acid mm -hmm. and a little sweetness. Yeah. The meats are nice and hearty. Cheese adds a little extra like a little bit of spice from the sausage. Mm -hmm. Like it's not like burn your mouth. Mm -hmm. It's like everything about it like just. Just a little whisper of a all little we, whisper of heat. All we need is a nice mm. pint yeah, there's of beer. Something where's, missing where's here. the pint of beer for they, this? I mean, pints? <laughs> all right, <laughs> let's, let's taste, I, I'm so taste my lembus. Um, so I want you to feel it, right? Yeah. I think it's it, light, actually. It's, it's, it's pretty like, it's light, like, right? Like a, I mean, it's like a, a substantial cookie. No, it is. Like, it is. Um, I think if you eat one of these, you definitely won't be hungry for a while. Yeah, yeah. I think so, you, you definitely... Um, <laughs> might not be elven bread because I'm not an elf. You understood the assignment. I got the assignment, yeah. That's what I was looking for. So we each get our own. Okay. Right. You don't have to eat the whole thing. I just want to open it up. I'm going to start now, with a quarter. I think in the in the lore it says it's golden brown on the outside and white in the middle. Uh, it's still golden brown in the middle. Yours is a little whiter. It's, yeah, it's good. Let's see what it tastes like. Let's see if it tastes like honey, right? Right. Well, because honey is canon, and so is corn. Honey is canon. I feel like you, you did a great so job here because you also like did what they say lapis bread is. All right. That smells so good. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. 
Um, there's like definitely some floral notes coming through. There. I, I think maybe a little more honey next time. Mm -hmm. I could definitely do a little more honey, but I think that like the texture is really nice, right? Yeah. Very it's not as crumbly as the one that Sam gets really angry at. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm sure if I left it for if, I well, if, if you left it in a backpack for two weeks. Or baked it a little more. Yeah, it could yeah. be crumbly like that, right? Uh, but mm. that's some good lemon. I think this is a good texture. Huh. I wouldn't want it any crumblier. You take a cookie like this on your hike, mm. you'll be okay. You'll be all right. Yeah. It's um, it's so delicious. Even Smeagol would eat it. <laughs> Maybe, right? Gollum would not. Though. Gollum would not. Smeagol <laughs> might, right? Smeagol will try. <laughs> yeah, and it'll be it'll be his new precious. He'll be like <laughs> my precious. And there's a golden <laughs> golden circle. Yeah. Could work. <laughs> it could work. We gotta poke a hole in it though. I think that it's um. It's um, delicious. Mm -hmm. I think it came out really well. Mm -hmm. I think that there's a few things I could tweak. I might put something more floral in it, like yeah. maybe some like orange flower water yeah. or something to make yeah, it totally. a little more ethereal. Yeah. Um, but mm. it's a good cookie. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm just gonna say we need to pat ourselves on the back. Great job. Good job. <laughs> Well, this was so fun. I know it was so much fun. I kind of feel like we have a lot, a lot more. Oh. Um, like in filming this, I feel like we have so much more. I think we realized material. that we could just. We could have really done a whole yeah. series of this. <laughs> There's a lot of book there for us. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 So I guess if you liked it, let us know. Yeah, tell we us, please. We'll do more. We if you will. Want us. Well, actually, we'll do more if you don't want it. Yeah, you're, just, you're like, no, please stop. Yeah. It's coming. Let's stop. <laughs> Actually, we're going to do more until you beg us to stop. <laughs> I, I, like, I, like I said, I think that we did great. I think that anyone watching this will recreate these recipes and be very happy with the outcome. I think they'd be thrilled. Yeah. It's yeah. truly one video to rule them all and one video to bind them. <laughs> <laughs>